the tumor microenvironment is where tumor cells live, right? Tumor is not just a, a, a mass of tumor cells, pure, pure tumor cell. There are other cells that are uh, recruited to tumor, um, then they help the tumor grow. Um, previously, people have been uh, divide those cells based on their cell types and study you know, them separately. Uh, what we think is we've got to understand the entire tumor microenvironment, multi-cell types together, so they have a more complete understanding. For tumor to become tumor, they have to manage to do many things. One is they have to form new blood vessels to supply nutrients, oxygen, for the tumor to grow. And the other one is they have to somehow escape from the immune system because our immune system is trying to attack the tumor, get rid of them. Both of them have been used as therapeutic targets. So people have trying to attack this different ability of the tumor so that it can be cured. Um, our finding suggests that the two aspects are actually very well connected. They actually mutually influence each other. Meaning if you uh, can activate the immune system, another effect of that is you also kind of uh, change the tumor vasculature structure toward uh, the direction that you can better deliver the drugs through the vessels. The vessels are now functionally uh, more normally so that you, uh, you can reach the tumor better. Vice versa, the reciprocal regulation is also true. If you somehow change the vasculature structure of the tumor, you can also stimulate the immune system. So there is this bi-direction regulation. We think this is important because um, both of them have been uh, used as therapeutic targets, as I mentioned, uh, but people haven't started realizing that the, the two therapies that are, appear to be very distinct from each other uh, actually can mutually influence each other. So there is a potential that you can combine these two therapies and so to achieve a better efficacies.